Hi everyone, it's James here from Pro Tools Expert, back with another gear review. This time I've got my greasy mitts on a copy of the e Square Deessa from EOSIS. Now we first heard about the e Square Deessa back at NAMM 2016 when I interviewed Fabrice Gabriel of EOSIS, where he said that this thing was 10 seconds to set up and 10 seconds to tweak. And you know what? He's really not far off. This thing really is very, very easy to get a really great sound from. However, if you want to dig in a bit deeper and take DSing to the next level, this is the DSer for you. So let me just take a moment to show you around the GUI, then we'll dive in with some audio examples. So up here we have our presets. Now, of course, presets for DSing is quite difficult sometimes, but occasionally they're a good place to start. So we have a whole batch to choose from. Save, save as, AB comparison. Controls for our spectrogram, we can choose to see it or not to see it. And some basic settings. However, it's over here where we have our main controls for the E squared DSA. Sensitivity and amount. Now, basically, these are our two controls. The amount is exactly that, how much DSing we're actually going to be doing. And our sensitivity setting is at which point we want the DSing to kick in almost like a threshold setting for the de -esser. And to be quite honest, you'd get some great results just from these two controls. We also have this mode button, which kind of allows us to set up the de for different types of input, vocals, BVs, guitars, overheads, stereo mastering, a bypass. We have our output gain and wet dry blend to allow us to parallel process. And we have our two sibilant controls. Now, auto, think as a kind of automatic dynamic EQ, finding exactly what we do and don't want to push and just getting on with it. Smooth is much more of a kind of way of rounding off some of those harsh peaks that may appear and it adds a certain amount of saturation. It's a really, really nice feature. And pretty much that's it. That's the controls we've got to deal with. We have the spectrogram up here and we have our two EQ curves. Blue is the voiced EQ, so we can actually manipulate the EQ of the incoming signal. And red is our sibilant EQ, and that's the actual EQ of what we're notching out, what we're pulling out with the de -esser. We can listen in on the signal at the voiced EQ stage, just the sibilance, or a kind of sibilant focus. This feature boosts the sibilant level and just allows you to hone in a bit easier on exactly what the DS is doing. So enough talk, let's get on with it. I've got a male and female vocal track for you to listen to and an entire drum kit. We'll get onto that in a minute. Let's start with the male vocal. This is bypassed. Well, I'm tired of all this chasing, chasing all around the house. Children know this game. They call it cat and mouse. You can hear there's quite a lot of sibilance in some of those words, house, mouse. So let's knock this baby back in. Set it on solo vocal. I want to knock everything down to start with. And let's start with a classic de -esser. Well, I'm tired of all this chasing, chasing all around the house. Children know this game, they call it cat and mouse. Well, I'm tired of all this chasing, chasing all around the house. Children know this game, they call it cat and mouse. Cat and mouse! For me, that's a lot more tame. The S's, the sh and the s sounds are a lot more under control. They're not jumping out at me anymore. If I push too far... Well, I'm tired of all this chasing, chasing all around the house. Children know this game. They call it cat and mouse. Well, I'm tired of all this chasing, chasing. It's not unpleasant, but it's just a bit too much for me. I think DSing is one of those things where it gently is a good thing. If you overcook it, it sounds a bit fake, a bit artificial. Well, I'm tired of all this chasing, chasing all around the house. Children know this game. They call it cat and mouse. Now, if I want to add some EQ, I can do to my voiced side of things. So now when I play back. Well, I'm tired of all this chasing, chasing all around the house. 
Children know this game. They call it cat and mouse. Well, I'm tired of all this chasing, chasing all around the house. Children know this game. They call it cat and mouse. Cat and mouse. No, it's a bit too well, much. Well, I'm tired of all this chasing, chasing all around the house. Children know this game. They call it cat and mouse. Now, let's push some auto in there just to add a bit more activeness to the EQ and to keep things under control a bit more. Well, I'm tired of all this chasing, chasing all around the house. Children know this game. They call it cat and mouse. And now we're going to add some smooth to add some saturation to the sibilant sound and just get rid of the peaks and just smooth it out a little bit. Well, I'm tired of all this chasing, chasing all around the house. Children know this game. They call it cat and mouse. Well, I'm tired of all this chasing, chasing all around the house. Children know this game. They call it cat and mouse. Cat and mouse. Still a little bit well, too much I'm on those last two. Of all this chasing, chasing all around the house. Children know this game. They call it cat and mouse. Well, I'm tired of all this chasing, chasing all around the house. Children know this game. They call it cat and mouse. Cat and mouse. There. A couple of minutes and we've got a really nice under control vocal with a bit more top end pushed in on the way into the DSR. And then the sibilant EQ is pulling that top end out a little bit. We could, if we wanted to, we could push the frequency up a little bit, pull it down. And you can see that moving on the spectrogram as well. I push it right down. Well, I'm tired of all this chasing, chasing. It almost sounds like my vocal's out of control. Too far. Well, I'm tired of all this chasing, chasing all around the house. Children know this game. They call it cat and mouse. Well, I'm tired of all this chasing, chasing all around the house. Children know this game. They call it cat and mouse. Cat and mouse. Actually, with a couple of tweaks, I think that's even better. So let's move over to a female vocal this time. And I'm going to start with the preset. Let's go for female singing. Now you can see here the sibilant EQ is ducking out at 10k. There's quite a bit of top end push. I'm going to pull that back a little bit. And let's play this one through. Back in 1867, in a little village town, everyone was sleeping peaceful when they heard a crackling sound. Twas a lumber mill blazing, and a fire began to roar. All the guides were filled with panic, cause the brewery was next door. And the volunteer bucket brigade tried their hardest the bill to save. And Back in 1867, in a little village town, everyone was sleeping peaceful when they heard a crackling sound. Twas a lumber mill blazing, and a fire began to roar. All the guides were filled with panic, cause the brewery was next door. And the volunteer bucket brigade tried their hardest the bill to save. And back in 1867, it's that opening line. It just controls that. I'll bypass it first, then you can hear it again. Back in 1867, in a, li Back in 1867, in a little village town, everyone was sleeping peaceful when they heard a crackling sound. Really nice, really easy. Let's roll some auto and smooth in there, see if we can make it a little bit it's smoother and more auto, if that makes sense. Back in 1867, in a little village town, everyone was sleeping peaceful when they heard a crackling sound. Twas a lumber mill blazing, 
and the fire began to roar. All the guys were filled with panic cause the brewery was next door. And the volunteer bucket brigade tried their hardest the bill to save. And back in 1867. Really, really nice. I'm loving it. So for this last example, we're going to use the E squared Diesa on some drum overheads. Now, this particular track has a lot of cymbal, a lot of china in it, and I just want to kind of tame that top end because it's just a little bit overly harsh, a little bit overly bright. I'm starting with the overhead soften preset, and you can see that that's actually using the overheads preset mode. So let's play it back bypassed first. I think we can push that a bit more, in fact. Bypassed again. just cleaning up that really big heavy china and the top end it's just just knocking some of that top end actually it's thinning out the top end of the symbols which i actually really like so there you go that's the e squared diesa from eosis i love it what can i say it does exactly what it says on the tin um it's really easy to use you can quite literally be playing with this thing and in about 10 seconds get a really great sound if you want to push a little bit further go into the sibilant settings the auto and smooth settings you can tweak to your heart's content. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I've been James from Pro Tools Expert, and I'll see you again soon for some more gear talk.